So the approximate age of the moon itself, and also the approximate age of my grandfather. So the relative huh. time in their youth, you could say. You'll notice a couple things about it when you go to touch it. The first is that it's very smooth. The reason for that is because it was cut from a larger piece. So NASA made it smooth. The second thing being that it's a very dark color. So much like on Earth, there are many different types of stones on the moon. That particular stone did not undergo the normal process that causes this white color that we typically think of and see. Hence the dark hue. So it's uh, one of only 11 samples in the world that is open for the public to touch, which means that you're all now a part of an exclusive club. Sorry? I know at least one of them is in Texas, one is in Washington, D.C. at the Smithsonian, another one is down in Florida at Cape Canaveral. I don't know about the rest. I think, I think there might be one in I heard. I'm not sure. But, okay, so you'll notice over there that there is another stone. The difference between the two is that that stone came to us. It crash landed on Earth about 4 million years ago after traveling 56 million kilometers from Mars. You cannot touch that one, however, because it might give you superpowers. Just kidding, it's fragile. Hi, everybody, welcome. Sorry? If you get to football, what's the other one?